So that is an interesting question in terms of the sort of confluence of the, the successful company and the high quality job. Uh, we uh, focus directly on the small and mid-size, which means under 500 employees, uh, American manufacturer. And I think there isn't a soul who doesn't realize now that uh, manufacturing has changed enormously. Uh, not just over the last, say, 40 or 50 years, but the acceleration of those changes in the last 10 years has really um, forced a lot of uh, disruption in what the business model looks like and the people who work in manufacturing. So MEP is a network of centers around the U.S., and our centers uh, essentially deliver strategic consulting services to small and mid-sized manufacturers who are their clients. And in the past, we focused a lot on uh, bringing lean and quality to the small manufacturer. At this point, we have taken um, a, a more a forward approach in terms of looking at next generation strategies. We're really focused um, uh, both helping manufacturers uh, right now be competitive, but also in the near-term near future. And so what we've been focusing on a lot is uh, technology acceleration and commercialization, the role of the small manufacturer in the global supply chain, uh, workforce, what does that look like, what does that mean to a small manufacturer in a time of great change, um, and continuous improvement as well as sustainability. Now, I say those sort of as separate uh, parts of the initiative, but they are all really woven together because a good uh, manufacturing operation at this point will look at all of those um, sort of uh, sections and say, what kind of technology am I using in my operations? Do I need to um, uh, use different technology? Um, should I move from a sort of place-based uh, to a more global and maybe cloud-based uh, kind of operation? Do I have no waste manufacturing? Uh, are my um, the processes energy efficient? Uh, am I continually looking for the best way to do things? And so within that environment, uh, the, the nature of a manufacturing has, has ch a job has changed from what used to be a very hands-on uh, uh, kind of job to one that in which, a, uh, in which an employee is really uh, pressed to think a little bit more holistically about the operation, uh, about the customers, uh, about um, uh, the business model and their place in that. And so as we move to what I think of as kind of the new manufacturing, we also move to the new manufacturing worker, which means that there will be, there is, an, there is right now, but there also will be fewer people on the factory floor and uh, more people at the front end of the business in materials engineering and industrial design. So that is really changing the nature of what a manufacturing business model looks like. And we're working on ways that help these small manufacturers understand um, sort of what new combinations of skills, because a lot of the skills will be the same, some will change, but there'll really be new combinations as new jobs are created. I think one of the most important things is that we're, we're trying to uh, partner very closely with institutions, public institutions such as community colleges and universities, also the workforce investment boards, in a way to um, to ensure that we do have a talent pipeline for these new good jobs. So, so um, private sector employers can choose to run a business in the way they see uh, best. We do think, 
and we provide technical assistance and information support uh, around what the best business models are. And one of the things that you'll find in a, in a high quality operation is that uh, you want to essentially minimize the risk of losing employees or not hiring the right employees and maximize the investments that you're making. And so you really need to understand what your um, personnel system looks like. And I, I use the word system purposefully. I think that um, not just manufacturers, but many employers don't think of um, their workforce uh, in, a, in a manageable system. They see uh, workforce um, issues as events, a hiring, oh, we need to hire, uh, maybe we need to give somebody a raise, maybe we need to downsize. So if we can help the small manufacturer understand that by looking at the, the workforce, not to reduce them to automatons, but to say, this is a process, and like a lean process, you can squeeze out the inefficiencies and you can maximize the investments that you're making. And so you should do things like on-the-job training. You should um, think about uh, internships and apprenticeships. You shouldn't necessarily think about recruitment as a last-minute kind of you know, crisis move. You should be thinking about it. Uh, both for existing opportunities that are going on in your um, factory as well as what you think business might look like in the future. If you don't have information and you don't strategize both on the short term as well as the long term, it's probably not going to work. So um, that needs to be thought of in that way and uh, sort of uh, in tandem with that, the processes that you have in your facility uh, should be modern modern processes. You should be looking at um, how you manage your workforce, how you provide training, how you compensate. Um, uh, you know, are you providing mentorships? Do you look at career ladders? Do you provide career ladders? And of course, are you paying competitive wages and benefits? So of course, we have to work and we're happy to work with the small and medium size. There are, we, we actually hit a very small percentage, uh, even through our, our network through all 50 states, we hit a small percentage of the small manufacturer. We are also devoted to the manufacturer that wants to grow. Uh, so if you uh, have a family business that you are happy with where it is in its current state and uh, you are not intent upon growing that business, MEP is probably not the right um, organization for you. But if you want to grow your business, then uh, we would be a very good um, uh, uh, resource because we have this, this network. So for small manufacturers who, um, who struggle around a lot of issues, and they do, they, they're, you know, uh, you uh, usually will not have in a small manufacturing facility, you will not have a chief learning officer, you will not have uh, you know, a certified human resource person. Uh, the CEO is probably also the owner, is the operations manager, et cetera, et cetera. And so they're always on the lookout for where they can get essentially what might be even termed as a variable cost assistance. So MEP centers are good that way, and we make an effort to host uh, opportunities and events in communities uh, with partners like community colleges uh, so that more people uh, can hear about what we're doing. We're, of course, um, using social media, blogs, uh, uh, you know, digital information to try and get our messages out. But I do think that one of the, the best ways to expand our influence and um, in turn help is through peer relationships among small manufacturers.